How can we be a blessing rather than a curse to our planet, my friend? We can start by adopting environmentally conscious practices daily. First and foremost, reducing our carbon footprint is crucial. This can be achieved by conserving energy at home, such as turning off lights when not in use, unplugging electronics, and using energy-efficient appliances. Additionally, we can prioritize renewable energy sources like solar or wind power. Another impactful way to bless the planet is by reducing waste and practicing sustainable consumption. This involves minimizing single-use items like plastic bags and water bottles and instead opting for reusable alternatives. Separating recyclables from regular trash helps ensure proper disposal and recycling. Additionally, supporting local farmers and buying organic products benefits our health and safeguards the environment by promoting sustainable agriculture practices. Lastly, advocating for conservation and supporting efforts to protect natural resources is essential. One way to do this is by volunteering or supporting organizations focusing on ecological restoration and wildlife conservation. Participating in community cleanups, tree planting initiatives, or supporting renewable energy projects in your area can make a significant difference. It seems easy to be a blessing to the earth, doesn't it, my friend? How to be a blessing rather than a curse to the earth? The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth, and on all the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground, and on all the fish in the sea, they are given into your hands. Genesis 9 verse 2 This was a blessing to Noah and his family. All the plants on the ground, all the animals of the earth, all the fish of the seas, and all the birds of the air were given as a food source for their survival. The earth is given to all of my children as a resource for well-being, comfort, and daily care. I have blessed the earth to carry everything you need for your life on this small blue planet. You must learn to care for the earth as if you were caring for your own future. Remember that I am the divine creator of heaven and earth, you must become the caretaker for your little patch of the Garden of Eden. Coexist rather than rule, co-create with me rather than destroy what I have made. Learn to use the planet's resources wisely, your future for your life tomorrow does depend on your actions today. My servant was given dominion over all the earth to restore and repopulate the earth. You are given reign over the earth to renew it. Your industrial progress has come at a cost to the environment that supports you. My children traded automobiles for fresh air. Clean water for harsh chemicals. Fertile soil for concrete jungles. There is a spiritual solution to your environmental problems. Become the caretaker of my holy creation, and do not worry so much about being the ruler. I hope you didn't think us too bold on this subject of environmental responsibility, my friend. I don't think we are asking too much. We are just trying to provide some easy spiritual solutions to a worldwide problem. It seems God put us in charge, which means we are also responsible for the overall health of our planet. I will take full responsibility for what goes into and out of my home. I will also help clean, care, and contribute to caring for my community. Will you help as well, my friend? Please join me in prayer. We humbly seek guidance to be a blessing rather than a curse to our precious earth, O oh, God. Grant us the wisdom to understand the interconnectedness of all life and our responsibility for nurturing and preserving it. May our hearts overflow with love and compassion for every living thing. Help us become co-creators. Help us recognize every creature's value and intrinsic worth, big or small. Give us the strength to protect the vulnerable and advocate for the voiceless. Help us safeguard their habitats and natural resources for future generations. Empower us to be your caretakers. Instill in us a deep sense of stewardship for the earth. Grant us the knowledge and inspiration to live sustainably, reducing our ecological footprint. 
Guide us in making conscious choices to conserve resources. Help us build our future on this planet. Heavenly Creator, align our actions with the principles of justice and equality. May we work tirelessly to address the social and environmental injustices that plague our world. In your infinite wisdom, please grant us the strength, courage, and perseverance to be true stewards, blessing the earth with our actions. Amen. I appreciate your help in whatever you plan to do to become a co-creator with God. Everything God created was handed over to us to be the caretakers, much like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. God created the planet to provide for us, and we were created to care for the resources. We find ourselves in the Garden of Eden to care for it and where we will find that we are closer to God than anything else.